Hello, all of you very gloriously wonderful people, and welcome to Cities Skylines. Oh, isn't that just a beautiful view of the town? I have wanted to do an actual series of City Skylines since I've had a YouTube channel, and I've just never done it. I've live streamed it a lot since I've been on YouTube, and even after I've switched to Twitch, I've done a live stream. And don't worry, if you follow the map that we do in Twitch, we'll keep playing that map. And we get to see the high school twice in the cinematic camera. But a new DLC came out for the game that adds some educational things, namely um, education, uh, campuses, which is kind of cool. Um, it works a lot, if you're familiar with some, or some city with uh, City Skylines, works a lot like all the other districts and now that you have a campus district. Did make some other changes as well, uh, like there's now a public library that enhances uh, your local education buildings, plus gives um, people a chance to get a little education out of every time they visit. Um, and a few other changes here and there to settings and stuff like that. Um, but the big thing is the addition of the campuses. You can actually make some money uh, for your town. I have an industrial area over here, and right now, because of the population of the city, the only one that I can do is a trade school, so that's fine. Um, Liberal Arts College at 15,000, and then we can do a university, which is going to go over here. I've already got a spot picked out for it. Figure we probably put a Liberal Arts College somewhere down here, because this is going to be a big city area. I have done a lot of work on the map. Um, I went ahead, and the only thing that I've done as far as mods to give me an advantage is I used the unlock all 81 tiles so that we get the whole map. Probably won't build a lot up in here. I'll probably just like bring a bridge across and bring it back around and terminate like right there. Uh, but we've got a nice buildable area there. Huge area out over here. Massive, massive area. Like it just goes and goes and goes. Um, so that's kind of nice. And then we've got some mountainous areas as well that have some flat spots to them. If I can get a road up there, that might be kind of a cool thing to do. Like maybe just bring the highway up and have a little town up here. Um, kind of like what I've done up here. Um, I've started just putting in just like some housing up here. Not a lot. Uh, not spammed out at all. Like it's just kind of there. By the way, this name for the city, not at all finalized. I will be naming the city based upon your comments. That's right. And if you're a Patreon supporter, uh, I will double consider your comments. Um... Because, you know, that's only right. Because you support my channel. So I want to get the trade school going. And I think it'd be good to have it near industry. I mean, but I don't want it so close that it's going to get uh, pollution. So I don't want to create a four-way stop here. I guess I could turn this into a roundabout. Thing is, I also want to get uh, trolleys up there. So the best I could do would be a four lane, and this is six lane. Uh, so you don't want three lanes dumping into just two. It just creates problems. I guess they could go right or left out of one of them. Okay, you know what? I've talked myself into it. Let's do a roundabout. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger than that. There we go. Nice little roundabout. Um, I didn't select the right type of road to start with, so I have to now upgrade it. Uh, let's get rid of the roundabout tool. Click that again. Now I can upgrade this. I want a trolley coming up here because I have trolleys running all through my town and I also need to bring it out this way as well. There we go. So now that trolley can come up here and it'll eventually come up this little row that I'm about to build and be able to go to the campus. So I just want to bring this up like this um, and then I guess... Just do like a little square here. I don't know how big the admin building is. So let's do 10 each direction. Let's see how big this admin building is. I'm not gonna place it just yet. I just wanna see how big it is. Um, Cause that's how you start is by, oh, you gotta also first paint a, an area for campuses, Brandon. Yes, that's how you start. Um, so we're gonna make this whole area. It'll, it'll come down this way, back by the highway. Or it's on a highway, it's an expressway. Um, I have no idea how big it needs to be, so I'm just going to make it big for now. And we can adjust as necessary. So you will fit nicely. So if I make this a square, that'll fit nicely up there. 
Um, so then we'll go up and over and down. And this also takes care of the education need that universities normally fill. You can still just use universities in Utah if you want to, and you'll be fine. Um, but this gives you a chance to earn a little extra income, plus experience some new gameplay. And I'm all about the new gameplay. The cool thing is most of these buildings, um, it'll tell you if they can be placed, uh, if they need to be on a roadside. Um, they all can go on a roadside. That's not an issue. Um, but most of them can also go on uh, the paths, which are these guys here. Um, so these cost the same, so there's no reason to use the bigger one. So what I want to do is turn off my snapping here. And, come on out. Okay, I guess I'll leave snapping on. But that's just going to go, yeah, like that. Um, there's already paths here. Oh, there is? Okay, good. Perfect. Uh, never mind then. Maybe I don't need to... I'll just extend this out. So what I'd like to do is have, like, uh, some of the buildings, like, flanking the admin building. I think that'd look kind of cool. Um, and then for this one, I'm not sure. What do we have? We have uh, a trade school dormitory. We have the study hall. We have groundskeeping, which we need, and a book club. And that's it for now. Eventually, we'll have a lot of educational-type things. Uh, oh, we also have a police academy. Interesting. I think I will do the police academy. Um, does it give a bonus to police? Yeah. It does. That's kind of cool. It's really expensive, but that's all right. We've got money, and we're making plenty of money right now. Uh, you need water, so I can accommodate that. We're just going to run this out this way continue these pipes like this since i've already got a grid going i may as well stick with what we have instead of starting something new and having it cost us more later and then i do have a mod installed for underground power just because i prefer those um probably have to wind up getting rid of some of these but for now they'll get us power out here to our trade school, and that'll get it up and functioning as soon as it gets power which we can get that by speeding up time so I'm not sure yet in this series if I'm going to do like a bunch of time lapse or if I'm going to do um, just, you know, let's play the whole way through, you know, and not worry about the time lapse that's aspect of it. Why don't you say I can connect there, but then you say no when I tried to build there. Why why you tease like that? And I want to get rid of my buildings. So these are not even. I don't want them to be even. I wasn't paying attention to how far I built them. Really, let's go 15 on each one. Like so. And then I want to bring that down. Why not? You can't connect off your own path? Oh, you know what? Remember when I said I was probably going to have to delete those right away? Yeah, well, that's why. They block your ability to build elsewhere. So then I can bring that right there. That'll connect. And I'll make it look a little prettier here with move it. Do have a few mods installed if you guys are interested in what mods i'm using let me know and i will just post them uh i'll make like a list on steam or something so you guys can see all the mods and then i'll just put a link to that list there we go that'll get me the start of a campus so okay before i can start getting students in here we have to have educational buildings see right now we have no students no campus attractiveness you level up, you make academic works, you know, all these different things. You can give money to try to help it. And then there's different policies as well. And there's even varsity sports. I don't think I'm going to do that on the trade school. I think that'd be kind of silly. Um, not really what you think of when you think of trade schools. But there are um, other things you can do as well. Museums and things like that. And we'll talk about those as they come up. But first, what I want to do is get this police academy in here. Wow, that's huge. Holy mackerel. So we'll put the police academy right behind the main admin building. And then we'll come back over here. Because what I'm thinking is we'll do like student life over this way, study buildings over this way. Um, I just I don't know why. I just think that'd work. So for now, we're just going to plop down a single dormitory, right? Yeah, it'll fit kind of in the middle there nicely. 
And then we can put paths off of here as we need to, to put into more. Uh, what are you? You are the train school study hall, so you're also a rather large building. Let's throw you in right next to the admin building. And then you are a trade school groundskeeping. Let's hide you back here in the back, which means we need to extend out our area. Our area. You're kind of in the way there, education menu. Um, so we'll put a uh, groundskeeping building, just kind of hide it back here. Um, you don't have a path? None you? Okay, well, we'll build a path then. Back to paths, and he doesn't need a pretty path. He's just a groundskeeper. Um, we'll bring that. Oh, no, okay. Nope, still no. There we go, now you like it. You like it and you know it. Um, where can I get that to go nicely? I right, like that. And then we'll go back down. I'm going to make this one just kind of a, a grid. The university will make uh, nice and spread out with curvy paths and a quad and all that. But trade schools aren't often known for being pretty, even though this one actually has some nice architecture. All right, where'd that go? Uh, groundskeeping. Because this helps beautify the place. So we'll put it right over here on the edge. And then a book club, kind of studious type thing. So we'll throw that in over here by the study hall. Uh, right off of that, actually. And then I think that's about everything we need right now. Yeah, we got a study hall. We've got groundskeeping. We have a dormitory. And I don't want to spend too much money up front because it does cost money to run this joint. Um, what I do want to do, however, is to get my citizens over here. I want to create a tram line. Uh, we have a few tram lines already. Um, one that services this area, one that will come out to the university but isn't built yet right now, uh, and then one that services this area. So what I think I can do is just have it like start right here and then just come over here by where these are. Um, like literally just put a stop like there. People can jump on that one. And then we'll put a stop uh, right here with the black line. And then we'll just bring it back. So people can take different tram lines to eventually get out here. And um, I need to make that a different color so I can remember which one it is. Oh, it's the purple one. So there we go. We have a campus going now. It is currently costing us 2191 Ooh, our campus attractiveness is not high enough yet, though. Um to get us to the next level. If I unpause, does that pop up? No. So what I'll do then is just go ahead and throw in that second dormitory here. Stay in 90 degree, please. Thank you very much. I'll just run that out. And we will throw in a second dormitory because they do help with attractiveness. Right there. And that should have gotten me to where I need to be for attractiveness. Yeah. So I also want to do some academic works because the uh, academic work creation uh, allows us to put stuff in museums, which will give us all kinds of things. I can spend a little bit of extra money to increase my chances of getting that. And then I can also give them a grant for the type of thing. And of course, I want IT and engineering because I'm a geek. Cover policy, student health care, which basically gives them free health care, but it also costs me five credits, so five bucks per person. Free lunch, so we can feed them if we want, and then these will unlock as other things become available. So you can see right now we're spending $7,000. Um, a big part of that is on our academic staff costs that we just did. So really it's costing us about $21.52. We're making $1,300 already off of just 260 some odd students. So not too terribly bad as the frame rate just really stuttered there because of autosave. So those trams will space themselves out eventually. With just three stops, there's probably only three cars would be my guess. But because it's such a long mileage, there may be more. So I probably don't need all of them. Um, yeah, see, it's got seven vehicles on it. Um, and none of them particularly full. We'll let this run for a minute and see what happens. In the meantime, I'll show you what we started with as a city. It started right over here, as you can see, with just this highway connection. Um, with just, like, this little square right here available, like, a little bit out into the water. Originally had wastewater here and taking water out there. I've since moved those. We're pulling water out here. And then wastewater, I always put, even though it costs a lot, once my city's successful, 
I always throw it towards the edge of the map, throw a windmill or whatever to power it, um, and do that that way because that way it just the pollution just falls right off the map and you don't have to worry about it. Um, haven't had any flooding issues, even though these guys live right along the bank. Um, if we start running into it, well, then we can just build a, a wall here. But I don't really think we'll have any problems. I wish... I don't know, should this bridge be as flat as this bridge, or is it okay that they're different? I can't make up my mind. Um, and the only thing I did was, like we looked at earlier, I went ahead and just kind of did a rough outline of a shape for a city. So basically to force myself not to do a grid, and then I put in the interchange for it. Nobody uses it right now because there's no need for anybody to use it right now because this doesn't really get them anywhere quicker. It's quicker for them to still come down this way. Uh, even though the trade school is out here, it's still quicker for them to come out this way. But the trade school is what I really want to focus on today. Um, I don't know how long an academic year lasts. Um, we're already like halfway through. Why can I not move this? Oh, oh. Anyways, uh, so what is the name of this place? Sheffield College. Again, we can change that. If we had sports, we could um, do some cool things there. Well, having that window open really kills the frame rate. Like, a lot. Let's see if I close all the menus and then open it, if it still does that. Yeah, look at that. Frame rate just tanks when I have that menu open. All right, so we're up to 400 students. Uh, not quite enough to get us to our next year. But then again, for university, well, we have 600 eligible. So hopefully they will come enroll um pretty damn quick i really hate to leave this open because of what it does to the frame rate i don't know why it does that it's really bizarre but you only have to have one building really the admin building connected to a road some others like the varsity buildings they have to be connected to a road but for the most part they do fine without it i think i want to make this a one way can you do that with yes you can i want to force everybody in the same way and now why are you complaining you don't have road access this will update itself and why are you complaining you can't get out are you gonna oh it's because that one's going the wrong direction that's an easy fix there we go so yeah they'll update as soon as one completes a loop oh you don't have access do you my bad um you're not on a path we'll throw you on a path over there there we go University students in the city, 391. I thought there were more than that. There's 624. And our university has 383 students. We lost some students, really? So do the dormitories hold people? Yeah, they do, but up to 300, and we don't have that many, most of them. I, I think these are your, like, exchange students, and then everybody else, like, will just commute in. My public transportation should be taking care of getting people to and from school, though. Not a lot of people got off there, did they? You'll want a lot of people to get off. There we go, there we go. They dropped off some students that time. So let's let this academic year tick out while I go and take a look at uh, some housing needs. Do we have... The, we do. What I want to do is change uh, some of this over to high density. Not a lot of it, but I'm thinking kind of like back here. Um, actually, no, like this part of town here. Change this into high density. I just think it'd look a little better. So we're going to get rid of all of this residential here and switch it. I normally don't use the big drop-in tool like this, but... I think it'll be all right. And then let's do the same here. And then I'd like to go high density here as well. And just all this area. For some reason it doesn't paint at all. And then we will grab the paint brush actually. Not the paint brush, but the one that does individual squares. And we'll throw that in. Oh, we have a death wave happening. Awesome. Is our cemetery going to be able to keep up with this? No, it is full. Do we have crematoriums yet? No, we do not. Which means we've got to find a place for another cemetery, which should fit right there. There we go. 
also have some abandoned houses happening here. Why did you abandon? Because uh, no one collected the dead people. Yeah, we are having a death wave, which I'm a bit shocked by. I built this out like I let it I, like I built the first section. I let it run for like 45 minutes and then the next section and the next section and the next section just to avoid these death waves. And what do we have anyway? A death wave. How cool is that? Which is why all of our uh, residential needs just vanished into thin air. So we want to get some big buildings going here as well. And maybe even right here by this park. So we got to wait for this death wave to carry out. Uh, we do have an auto demolition mod, so those abandoned houses uh, once a day will get knocked down. It's also going to kill our student population. I mean, we've lost quite a few people. I mean, if we go into statistics, um, our population was up at 72, 22.74. Apparently we had three quarters of a person. And now we're down to an even 6,123. So at least that three quarters of a person uh, is no longer with us because that's kind of creepy if you think about it. Um, so we got to get the population back up before we can really get our students, I think. See, yeah, our student enrollment has dropped way off. I'm kind of surprised that, that we don't have more considering I figured everybody that was eligible would just, you know, hightail it out to the university, but apparently not since it costs money. So we're going to let this death wave clean up here and then we will uh, see what's what. While I was waiting for the death wave to clear up, I noticed that we're getting a little bit of traffic back up here. I think it's just a lot of people moving in, though. Because um, you can see we're growing really quick. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Actually, tourism. Interesting. Uh, let's see if I can't click another one. Uh, you are driving home. So, yeah, he's just now moving in. And that's because, you know, of the change that we just did. And, of course, that death wave didn't help us. And then I managed to rip out some houses as well. Uh, we lost 50 houses, well, 50 buildings due to the death wave. But now that it's over, our population is rebounding. Um, I like that this is on the European map. Uh, all these buildings are European in style. Uh, so as they upgrade, they'll get a little bit taller, but not drastically. It kind of gives it a nice look. I've never really used a map with these. Hey! Uh, we did not get um, our student goal, but we did get our campus attractiveness. We did gain um, an academic work, and apparently, uh, no, we didn't unlock anything new. Uh, we did invent Trippy Coin, cryptocurrency that will solve all the issues with other cryptocurrencies. And there was a toga party. Those happen on campus just randomly. Like, you would literally just have to sit here and stare at the campus forever, um, zoomed in, and hope to catch one happening in a specific spot i'm pretty sure they can happen anywhere on the whole campus though so you know uh, i don't know uh, i don't know that it's really uh worth staying zoomed in so the police academy has 125 people or is that just total for the whole thing now we have 214 so a lot of them are enrolled in the police academy um how to drop off there i have 23 of our students here Ooh. I didn't realize that road was like that. Can we fix this a little bit? And then I can do some landscaping to make it better. Or not. What we'll do is hide it with trees. Because um, I just don't like the way it was just sticking out like that. So we'll just hide it with a bunch of trees. Uh, trees, I want to say that it's this tree right here, no? This tree right here? No. What tree is that? Maybe it is. Oh, it is that one. Okay. So what we'll do is we will just hide this with some trees. Looks like we also have some sort of evergreen out here. Not that one, though. Uh, probably that one. Yeah, definitely this one. Yeah. So we'll throw some evergreens in here. So we'll just randomly throw in trees just to hide this massive cliff that wants to murder people apparently i put two back there there we go for that tree and then we'll come back into this one i just want to 
hide the ugliness of that. I am by no stretch of the imagination a detailer. I'm sure you've seen uh, if you're a fan of City Skylines and you watch others. I don't get into high detail and you know throw benches down and move everything around so it's just absolutely perfect. But I do some um, just to make me happy. But I don't get into the really intricate detail as you can tell by my grid of a city that I currently have. But it's a grid of a city that is working because we're back up to where our population was before the death wave and we have a pretty big uh demand for residential um which i can go ahead and put some of that up here i'm just kind of spacing these houses out willy-nilly style uh just kind of plopping them in oops i don't want that i do want this though there we go just so that you know it, it looks like a a little bit of a nicer neighborhood you know you live up on the hill you're not right on top of your neighbors you know you have neighbors but you know it might be a little bit of a walk to get to them and you know, not too much of a walk but still you see what i'm getting at here is that it's it, it's nice and spaced out instead of having everything just right on top of each other um get one little teeny tiny house right there got somebody live across the street from them and we'll kind of go every other one here on this bend. Only problem with doing this is that nicer houses don't have as big of an impact. Uh, you don't have power or water up here, really? Um, you should have? Both? What happened to your water? What is going on? I've got plenty of water availability. Oh, that one's not connected. That would be why you don't have water. I am very sorry. Uh, and then power kind of fluctuated there. Oh, that's because we are dipping down just a bit. Um, we can probably go ahead and just throw in another oil power plant. We're running out of space for them, but uh, we'll put in one more. One thing would be kind of close to the entrance, so we'll knock down whoever's business is that. So sorry about it, but whatever. Almost up to 8,000 people. How is our campus doing? Uh, still not a lot. I mean, then again, this is a small city. So I wasn't expecting it to fill up right away. Uh, as the city grows... It will work itself out. So we'll let all that get built. Apparently there's a dead person awaiting transport up here. I might could do with another cemetery up here somewhere. Uh, though I really don't know where. Because well, they're big enough that no matter where I put it, it's really going to stick out just like a sore thumb. I probably need a clinic up here though. And I probably need some uh, services up here. Because I don't think they have yeah, They don't have police coverage or fire coverage up here. So we'll throw those in just to keep people happy up here. That'll also boost our um, property values. And I want to take a real quick look at our regular education. We are dropping an elementary, so we're gonna. That's one of the reasons I left some spaces. We're gonna throw in an elementary school. That's gonna give us another 300 capacity, which will just get us to where we need to be. Um, what we probably ought to do is throw one in about the middle point here as well. Uh, because we've got one there, now one there, one there, and now our capacity is fine. High school, getting a little close. We have two already. I don't know exactly where I could fit a high school up here. I guess I could put it there. Um, actually, elementary school is over this way. So let's put it over here if I can. It's probably going to be slope too steep. Yeah, it's going to have to go over here. So, sorry about your house. So, that gives us a little bit more high school because they do have to now go through their grades. Um, it used to be in City Skylines that if an adult didn't have an education at all, they could actually go to university and get the levels that they missed. So, like, they could get their elementary, then they could go back to university again get their high school, and then go get their university degree to become highly educated. It doesn't work like that anymore. So if they miss it, they miss it. And they just stay uneducated. Uh, they can go to the library, and the library does have a chance of increasing 
uh, their education level. Speaking of libraries, let's throw one up here. Um, let's see. The high school's there. And the elementary is, what, there? Yeah. So let's find a nice place for a library up here. Not exactly where you'd find a library in the middle of a quiet little residential area like that. Oops. Sorry about that noise. But it does give us a little bit of a boost to the educational buildings that are up here. So it will help. And in the long run, it will also help our university. Well, our trade school, I should say. Which is struggling at the moment, but it's getting there. We're up to 275. Uh, our max was like 302 earlier. I might do um, another run of our uh, trolley to pick up some people this way so they don't have to do a transfer. In fact, let's do that as the very last thing that we do here. Let's start one. Uh, we don't really need it to go through industry. So let's start one. Is this tram line? Yeah. Start one that goes here, has a stop right here, across the street from the black line. Uh, there is no stop at all here, and then right across the street from the white line. And then it will now just shoot out here over to the trade school. And then where does it finish off? Right there, anywhere that we can pick up a little bit more, not really. So we'll just terminate that line. See if we can't get a few more people writing that. We'll make that one light purple. So that it is at least differentiated. And maybe that'll get us a few more people out here to the school. But we'll have to find out in the next video. Until then, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.